In this video, we will start creating the base player component. Let's open our project that we have created in the previous video in our favorite code editor. Mine is Visual Studio Code. So the first thing we can do in our project is do some cleanup. Let's go to our components. I'm just gonna delete this Hello World component because we don't need that one. So let's delete. Let's go to our app view and let's delete this div. So it's here. Let's delete that. And let's delete this button as well. Actually, we can delete the app bar as well. And here is the reference to the Hello World component. So let's clean that up as well. Let's clean the data and the hello world component. Now let's go to the components folder and create the, our reusable player component. Let's create a folder for that. Let's call it just player. Inside this folder, we will create an index.js. Index.js is going to export our player.view component and create player player dot view file so this is going to be the actual component and the third file is player dot scss which is the styling of our player in the index.js let's do export default from player dot view which means this file is going to export the default export of the player.view file. And then if we want to import our player in the app, we will just do import player from components player. Let's register this component and just render it here. Let's go to our player.view. Let's do some basic template. Let's do a div for now and just type player. Let's create a script for that. Give it a name of player. At the top, I'm going to import the styles. So let's import player.scss. Let's open the project in the browser. As you can see, our player component is rendered here. So all the other stuff is gone. Now let's create the actual video element as well as import our test movie. Let's go back to our editor. Let's add a base class to our wrapper. Let's call it a player. Inside the player, we're going to create another div and call it player sizer player sizer inside it will hold the video element i will explain why we are calling it sizer when we will go to the styling part for now let's create the video element inside our sizer let's type video inside we will give it a source source will have a type for now we are going to hard code the source but in the future we are going to make it as a prop so that we, we can reuse this player with many other movies so let's give it a type of mp4 actually video slash mp4 and give it a source so now we need to import our test video I'm going to use the free movie called Big Bunny Buck. You can use any movie you want. Here in the assets folder, I removed the logos from the view and imported my video MP4. Let's, let's set the source to this video. So we will use, we will use at assets video MP4. This add is an alias to source folder meaning it will go to source folder slash assets and then into video mp4 let's save it let's go back to our browser refresh 
as you can see here we have our video right now it doesn't have any controls those controls we are going to create by ourselves but for the sake of testing let's add controls attribute to our video so that we can check if everything works correctly so here is our default controls if we press play it's going to start the video nice so let's hide the controls now we can align our player to the center vertically and horizontally so that we can see it better let's go to our code let's open app.view and inside main we are going to create a div element this is going to be sort of container with a fixed width which will contain our player let's give it a class of display flex and align center these are the classes which are provided by Vutify component library. Display flex just sets the display property to flex and align center just sets align item center so that we align the player vertically in the center. Let's add margin X auto class and as well as some fixed width. Let's give it a width of, for example, 960 pixels. So, we are giving a fixed width and setting the margin X auto, which means it will align our block horizontally in the middle. So let's save that and open the browser. It actually didn't align our player to the center. It's because vertically our container doesn't have a full height and horizontally our player just overlaps our container our 960 container so in order to fix that we need to set video elements with 100 percent so that it fills the 960 pixel container and it will not overflow vertically we need to set to our container a 100 percent height of the window so it aligns items inside that height let's do that let's go back to our code first let's fix the horizontal alignment let's go to our player let's target our player and inside the player we will select video and set width of 100 percent and as well as height of auto so it will preserve its aspect ratio let's check it out yeah as you can see it's now aligned horizontally next we need to set 100% height to our container. So we will do that with the helper class of Beautify, which is fill, fill height. Now everything is aligned properly. This is going to be it for this video and we will continue in the next lecture.